I was when we first got here, I was like, whoa, this is so different. This is kind of freaking me out. And you can make the same mistake coming here. You know, it's just you move to a smaller city in the south and you might have preconceived ideas, but Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nest and Dolls Realty powered by EXP Realty here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living, breathing, working, going to school, having a baby in the Asheville area, you need to hit that subscribe button and tap a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. My team and I helped dozens of people relocate to the Asheville area and we love helping people. So if you're one of those, if you need help relocating or if you have any kind of questions about what it's like to live in the area, this is our contact information. Hit us up because we got your back when relocating to the Asheville area. A little less than two years ago, Corey and Kristen came all the way from the West Coast. Thanks for helping us move here. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Why moving from West Coast to East Coast and how did you find Asheville? Yeah, why? Why did we do this? <laughs> because you said you wanted to live closer to your folks. La I guess 20, end of 2020, I was finishing school. Maybe this is a time for a move, going to start yeah, a new so. career. So we, we uprooted. I grew up in, well, mostly grew up in Middle Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So I was familiar with Asheville, like in a drive-by sort of mm -hmm. way. <laughs> um, I went to school in Knoxville and I used to drive through here to go to the beach. Was it a big shock to move from a big city, from a real city? to Asheville. I mean, Asheville is technically a city. Asheville and Portland have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Asheville's like a more uh, compact version. A, a few less choices of all the restaurants and everything, but still really good stuff going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So it was like downsizing a little bit, but in a mm -hmm. good way. For me, it would have been more of a shock or more of a transition if we had done it, you know, like five years after moving to Portland, but after 20 years in a city that kept getting bigger and we kept, you know, we got older, the city got bigger. And so, this was like the right time to, to downsize. Or to me, at least, Asheville was a lot smaller. And now we live in Waynesville, which is a lot smaller than Asheville. So right. we've, we kind of went from you know one extreme to the other. So speaking about the specific area where you live now, you did not, you rented in, in Asheville mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you wanted to be in Asheville. So Asheville is Buncombe County. Waynesville is Haywood County. You loved East Asheville and that's kind of you, we, we were eyeing a few houses there, but of course there was not a lot of options back just a year ago. Going from Asheville, which is a smaller town, and now going to even the smaller town, like a real small town. How, how do you like that? How do you like Waynesville? We like being out in nature, so mm -hmm. we're really close to the Smokies and uh, lots of good hiking. And so we were a little like, hmm, I don't know if Waynesville's a good idea for us, but uh, we're close to Asheville, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the outdoors. I mean, Asheville has the outdoors as well, but you mm -hmm. know, it's... Um, and it's just a, you know, like a little bit smaller, uh, slower pace of life, but mm -hmm. we're enjoying it. I do have a video about where I included Waynesville. Um, I'm going to link it up. I'm going to put it in the description so you can check it out. Uh, Waynesville is a, like I said, town in Haywood County, just west of Asheville. Not, not far at all, but it's equally, I think it's even more, I, I love going to Waynesville, especially in the fall. So beautiful. Yeah. And from our house to the first Wayne Asheville exit is exactly 21 miles, but you get there like that. It's like driving from one end of Portland to the other, but we're going across miles and miles of, you know, countryside. So. Pros and cons that you maybe experienced coming here. Uh, we, we moved 2,600 miles across the country. So that in and of itself is kind of a con. Um, we had a built in because mini it's a vacation. Pain? Well, it's a, it's just a long way. I mm -hmm. mean, especially after being somewhere for 20 years and then pulling up everything and you know it's one thing to pull up your whole life and move across town but when you're moving across the whole country that's right you know i yeah, mean that makes it an adventure we drove and we had our dog so you know that's a process it takes mm -hmm. some time to get mm -hmm. across the country with your with your dog and and we had done it twice because we moved from texas to oregon 20 years before that so probably the biggest con for us was i don't think we anticipated you know we thought we'll move we'll move across the country we'll settle in Asheville, and that'll be it you know we spent a few months just trying to buy a house and then we decided to rent and then that was a process and then we tried to buy a house again so we didn't give ourselves enough time to to really do the whole process you know we, we were i guess more optimistic so would you say it's best to come and rent and look around 
and then decide or I don't really like to pay rent but I think it was good that we did that because it was such a difference of lifestyle and the car culture and when we first got here I was like whoa this is so different <laughs> this is kind of freaking me out and then we decided to rent then we could spend more time really kind of getting the lay of the land and then you just start to kind of you you what you adapt or die right so we just you know you start adapting to like this is the way it is here and uh, yeah I think we both thought that it would be easier to, to get to know the area because Asheville is you know it's 92,000 people so it's not a it's not a big city so we figured oh, a month's time we'll figure out this whole area and Asheville this this western North Carolina is very spread out I mean Asheville's kind of the hub but there's all these little towns around and you know, you go between them and you check out all the stuff in between. And it's, it's, it was harder for us just to wrap our heads around all right. this. So that year was super <laughs> beneficial. That was a big pro just having the ability to rent for a year. Mm -hmm. Cause after a year we were more familiar with Asheville. We got more familiar with the surrounding towns mm -hmm. and it just gave us some breathing room. And he, plus he was, uh, starting up his new career. So he was applying for jobs at colleges. And so that mm. helped us to figure out where we wanted to be too. Mm -hmm. Cause he could have driven if we had bought in Asheville and then he could have been in one of the outlying schools, but um, ends up that we're a mile point three from his office. Perfect. So, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. so speaking of jobs, um, I know our area is not great to build a career to even find a job unless you are in a small business or a service industry, medical industry. Was it hard? to find a job? Um, it was hard for me to find a job because I was changing fields. Mm -hmm. So I had to kind of wrap my head around the transition between two completely unrelated fields mm -hmm. and just what was involved, you know, just in the job search there. And so, you know, the last time we moved across the country was 2000 and there wasn't a YouTube. There wasn't, you know, you couldn't just go online and do all the stuff you could right. do now. So, I mean, you Research. know, it's, yeah, it, that made a huge difference. What is your perspective on the weather? Because I know some people say, well, it's very similar to Portland. It's definitely, I think, more similar to Portland than it is to, let's say, Arizona. <laughs> we actually think it's completely different from Portland. Really? Um, yeah. I Tell mean, me we more. Have, well, okay. So and we don't completely agree on Portland's weather, but. You know. <laughs> um, Portland's winters are just dark and gray mm -hmm. and driz drizzly, generally not downpours like what we get in western north carolina mm -hmm. but it's it's a constant damp cold yeah depending on the year you know it's different every year but um weeks of gray mm -hmm. and last winter in Asheville, we were amazed by the fact that we'd walk outside and the sky would be blue i <laughs> so, mean in december we're just like what something you know checking the calendar it's like what's going on here? dry and sunnier in the winter and it rains more in the summer so it's hotter and humid in Western North Carolina huh. than Portland. Portland's really dry and in the summer. And here you have really cold, but sunny winters for the most part, mm -hmm. it seems like, and mm -hmm. then kind of rainy summer. So kind of flipped over. Plus you have four distinct seasons here. And in Portland, fall is, seasons. fall's pretty short. Fall is short. Yeah. yeah. It's like summer. And then all of a sudden it's like the leaves are changing. It's winter here. Summers are super humid or that's, pretty humid. I mean, I guess it's all relative. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we keep our fires away, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. From and the happening. And the humidity here though is like yeah, it's humid at times, but I think with all the green, you know, all the trees and everything that the it doesn't feel like that oppressive mm -hmm. humidity. Like I used to live in New York and that's really humid. And, New York, and, New York? Yeah. And the air is just kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, so I grew up the in the D C area too in, in the set we both grew up in the in the seventies and uh we both grew up in the East Coast cities where the air pollution was pretty bad and the air here is amazingly clean it seems like. So between the clean air, the sunny sun winters and the bears, I mean it's like all <laughs> kind of you, novel things. Have you had them visit your trash can? <laughs> no. Not yeah, in yeah. Waynesville, but in Asheville like quite a bit. Yeah. They asked me on this channel um, how dangerous it is with bears and snakes. It seems like it's very dangerous. What you tell us, what do you think? How dangerous it is here with our wild wildlife? Dep I guess if you live in the woods, I mean, snakes are, you know, snakes are going to be a thing. If you're afraid of snakes, I guess they seem more dangerous. The bears, from a year in living in, in East Asheville, we saw, I don't know, what do you think, six to eight different bears over the course of a year. Some of them were, were kind of came around more often, but um, after about the third or fourth time you see a bear in your front yard, I mean, I would be standing there with the door open with my phone and the bears 12 feet away, you know, mm -hmm. filming it. They're completely ignoring me. Mm -hmm. So they're very, they seem very used to people. So mm -hmm. 
it doesn't seem very threatening, you know. Yeah. I never ran into one like taking a walk at night, so mm -hmm. that would have been a different thing. But yeah. and we were amazed when we moved here that people talked about bears so casually. And we, the first time we saw one, we were like, "There's a bear!" <laughs> and then by the fourth or fifth one, you're just like, "Ah, eh, there's a bear." Yeah. You know. And then you go back to what you're doing. <laughs> Enough about bears. Right. Enough. Just cut this. Just cut this. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what is your perspective on? traffic <laughs> that's funny that people even call it traffic here. we're like where See, i told you i've been saying this like the whole time that people who come from real cities it's all about perspective right but also give yourself a few years you're going to be complaining about it too well, you know? it'll, probably get, it'll probably get worse over the coming years you'll get used to you know yeah and wayne's i mean in waynesville because it's you know rainsville the population in waynesville from what i've looked at has grown almost none in the last 30 years so it's mm -hmm. a it's a little over 10,000 people people i meet there who've grown up there they refer to Asheville as like the city and they say it kind of with like you know kind of the way people outside of new york would talk about new york city you know it's like i don't go into the city the traffic is too crazy it's 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 all relative i guess right. but the busiest it is is on main street you know right so because the speed limit is 15 20 miles an hour yeah. there and you just stop at every yeah if somebody happens to parallel park, then traffic backs up. <laughs> so it's just, it's all relative. Yeah. So what are some of the things that you already knew about Asheville or Western North Carolina in general, but then what are some of the things that you were not prepared for and you wish you knew when, before you came here? We both really like to be uh, in a walkable area. We didn't really find Asheville to be super walkable. Certain pockets of it. Right. I mean, I cycled a lot in Portland to get from point A to mm -hmm. point B. And I didn't find that as conducive in, in Asheville. Uh, I ride my bike in Waynesville. It's like everywhere you go is uphill. So um, <laughs> it's just like, oh my God, it's a workout just to go like three miles. Right. But um, yeah, downtown, Wayne, downtown Asheville and I guess West Asheville seem pretty uh -huh. walkable. But yeah. the rest of that, like, and that's it. yeah, we lived in a walkable neighborhood in Eastern Ash in East Asheville and Beverly Hills, which is not as fancy as it sounds. But um, <laughs> Beverly you know, Hills of Asheville. <laughs> so the neighborhood's walkable, but if you want to go from the neighborhood to you know a coffee shop or something right. like that, you have to drive. So right. for me, that was the biggest, I guess, thing uh, because it's so mountainous here, mm -hmm. and that probably has more to do with it than anything. Mm -hmm. Neighborhoods are different. Portland's very grid-like. It's pretty flat. Mm -hmm. And uh, nothing in Western North Carolina is flat. So that influences the types of neighborhoods. Right. That influences the driving culture. Right. For me, that was the biggest transition, I guess. Right. I think a lot of people, though, coming from different parts of the country, they're used to the car culture. So that was a bit of a mm -hmm. shock. And then Portland is so um, neighborhood oriented so that every little pocket of, a na of neighborhoods has a commercial area mm -hmm. where you can walk or bike to. So that was a little bit of an adjustment. So, I mean, actually in Waynesville, I can ride my bike to the, to the things I need. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working at the Waynesville Rec Center. I can walk or ride my bike there. I can get to a grocery store. Um, I can get to downtown, get to my library. I've just got to ride uphill. <laughs> right. And that's what I tell people who are trying to kind of wrap their head around the concept of living in the mountains. The fact that we have walkable neighborhoods, but there's not nowhere to walk to. Yeah. <laughs> you can walk in circles or, you know, um, within the neighborhood, but there's nothing, nowhere to walk to. It's like, a, like you said, downtown Asheville, uh, West Asheville and that area, our district in between is, and that's about it. Biltmore Park is another one. A lot of what happens around here is dictated by the hills, mm -hmm. the mountains, the hills. So, you know, you might see something that looks like a fabulous house, but it's got no yard because it's just got a drop off off the back or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we spent, a, we spent a lot of time driving around looking at listings. We'd see something online and read about it and then you drive out there and one of us would be navigating and driving and we'd be in the car, you know, driving like this up a hill. It's just like, it says it's 1.2 more miles and I think we're gonna run out of hill. And so that's, I mean, depending right. on what part of the country you come from, that's kind of, uh, we never really <laughs> did figure out that one because you, you can only tell so much from the listings and the photos and stuff. So uh, prepare, I guess, to have, to spend more time than you think sometimes just looking at some houses because right. it's gonna yeah. take take a while to, yeah. yeah, the biggest tip I would say, if you if you could do one thing to move before moving here, um, visit and spend, if you can spend a week here pretending like you live here, mm -hmm. just hang out in town, go do stuff you'd normally do, mm -hmm. and just try to compare that experience to wherever you're coming from. Because right. we, I didn't get a chance to do that. I mean, I'd been through here enough that I thought, well, what the heck, I moved to, you know, moved to California without ever seeing it, so what's the worst thing that could happen? But 
um, if you have a chance, you know, because if we had known about, if we had really kind of, I think, fully grasped how the terrain affects the lifestyle here, you know, I don't think we would have made a different decision, but, um, but who knows? Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, we've, we've gotten used to it now. We love it and everything. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely affected just the whole process of, of learning the area and looking mm -hmm. for places. It's an adjustment. Any final um, tips, advice? Um, well, for, I mean, I, for anybody who is, you know. Well, I mean, I guess for when we were leaving a very, you know, liberal part of the country and coming to a more conservative mm -hmm. area, um, I think it's good for people to mix it up and, uh, yeah. you know, be on the ground and actually meet people and mm -hmm. interact with each other. Mm -hmm. and I think that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a good thing. That did, you know, some things I see and hear are still like, wow, I can't believe I hear and see those things still in this country. But, um, but otherwise I think, you know, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful area and mm -hmm. the people are, yeah. you know, kind and it's, it's a great place to live. Yeah. yeah. Don't believe stereotypes. If you're, you know, if you're from the other side of the country and you're moving to, you know, this is the Southeast, mm -hmm. um, just don't believe what you hear. I mean, I, we talked to, you, you, you tell somebody in Waynesville that you're from Portland and their mind goes to, you know, it's like, Oh, Portland, they, you know, they're kind of reacting to what they they think they know about it. Right. And you can make the same mistake coming here. You know, it's just you move to a smaller city in the south and you might have preconceived ideas, but ignore them because I'm um, number one, it seems like a lot of people from or most people from Asheville are from somewhere else. Right. I mean, I've met mostly transplants here versus people who grew up here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very you know, it's it's a it's a pretty diverse well, I guess from you know Geolog geographical backgrounds. Right. I guess it's a pretty diverse city. Not so much in Haywood County, probably, right? Uh, Most less people, so, yeah. yeah. A lot of people there have been there for their whole lives or, or yeah. generations, yeah. Right, right. Well, thank you. Yeah, that was thank great. Th that was a great perspective. Was that helpful? Yes, <laughs> very helpful. Appreciate you. What a great perspective about what it was like to move from Portland to Asheville. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below. If you want to learn more about what it's like to live in the Asheville area, what it's like to move to the Asheville area, check out some more videos. I'm going to put them right here somewhere. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And uh, reach out to me and my team if you need help relocating or have any kind of questions. Our contact information is right here. I will see you next time.